डॉक्टर निधि खरे इन टूडेज लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इफेक्टिव लीडरशिप नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू अ स्टडी बाय द हे ग्रुप विच इज अ ग्लोबल मैनेजमेंट कंसल्टेंसी ट्रस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन टॉप लीडरशिप वॉज द सिंगल मोस्ट रिलायबल प्रिडिक्टर ऑफ एम्प्लॉज सेटिस्फैक्शन इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन बाय लीडरशिप in three critical areas was the key to winning organizational trust and confidence now these three areas are helping employees understand the company's overall business strategy helping employees understand how they contribute to achieving key business objectives and the third one sharing information with employees on both how the company is doing and how an employee's own division is doing relative to strategic business objectives so you must be trustworthy and you have to be able to communicate a vision of where the organization needs to go now the next slide on principles of leadership ties in closely with this key concept so coming to the principles of leadership know yourself and seek self improvement in order to know yourself you have to understand your be know and do attributes seeking self improvement means continually strengthening your attributes this can be accomplished through self study formal classes reflection and interacting with others next principle is be technically proficient students as a leader you must know your job and have a solid familiarity with your employees tasks next seek responsibility and take responsibility for your actions search for ways to guide your organizations to new heights and when things go wrong they always do sooner or later do not blame others analyze the situation take corrective action and move on to the next challenge make sound and timely decisions use good problem solving decision making and planning tools know your people and look out for their well being know human nature and the importance of sincerely caring for your workers keep your workers informed know how to communicate with not only them but also with seniors and other key people develop a sense of responsibility in your workers help to develop good character traits that will help them carry out their professional responsibilities ensure that tasks are understood supervised and accomplished communication is the key to this responsibility so good communication here is very important and it plays a very very important role train as a team although many so called leaders call their organization department section etc a team they are not really teams they are just a group of people doing their jobs lastly use the full capabilities of your organization by developing a team spirit you will be able to employ your organization department section etc to its fullest capabilities factors of leadership there are four major factors in leadership follower leader communication and situation follower different people require different styles of leadership now about the styles of leadership i'll take this in detail in the later lectures so now coming to follower different people require different styles of leadership for example a new hire requires more supervision than an experienced employee a person who lacks motivation requires a different approach than one with a high degree of motivation you must know your people the fundamental starting point 
is having a good understanding of human nature such as needs emotions and motivation you must come to know your employees be no and do attributes so these be no and do attributes about your employees are very important the next factor is leader you must have an honest understanding of who you are what you know and what you can do also note that it is the followers not the leader who determines if a leader is successful if they do not trust or lack confidence in their leader then they will be uninspired to be successful you have to convince your followers not yourself or your supervisors that you are worthy of being followed the next factor is communication you lead through two way communication much of it is non verbal for instance when you set the example that communicates to your people that you would not ask them to perform anything that you would not be willing to do what and how you communicate either builds or harms the relationship between you and your employees lastly situation all are different what you do in one situation will not always work in another you must use your judgment to decide the best course of action and the leadership style needed for each situation for example you may need to confront an employee for inappropriate behavior but if the confrontation is too late or too early too harsh or too weak then the results may prove ineffective various forces will affect these factors for example are you uh, forces are your relationship with your seniors the skill of your people the informal leaders within your organization and how your company is organized so various forces will affect these factors now in my next lecture that is part b of effective leadership i'll be talking about the attributes important for a leader the environment roles and relationships and the culture and climate thank you